the situation in Iraq is getting worse as militants allied to the Al-Qaeda are closing in on the capital city of Baghdad. Forces from Iraq's autonomous Kurdish region have taken control of Kirkuk, an ethnically divided northern city that they have sought to rule for decades now against the objections of successive governments in Baghdad. The rapid advance by Iraqi militants is building pressure on the United States to step in. President Barack Obama has stated that he's keeping the option of airstrikes open. In fact, uh, we're being joined by Bloomberg's uh, John Dawson for more on that issue. John, run us through the latest that we're seeing coming out of Iraq. So now to good morning to you. Yes, clearly, again, this is a really intense situation. So far, again, clearly the Syrian situation has balled into the north of Iraq. And, of course, militants again, Sunnis again, Kurds are all moving in. And what's, what the biggest concern is, a civil war breaking out. We're having different areas, three different districts, of course, two different areas of people uh, breaking out Iraq. So it's going through the north again. And clearly, the big concern here is the south, Baghdad, etc., because three-quarters of Iraqi oil is produced in the south. Basra, again, the port again, yesterday threw out 5.4 million barrels a day into the ships, out of the port. Again, that was a good, great relief to get it out. But again, concern is, again, as the, uh, as, the, as, as the militants go down into the south, the impact of oil. Now, bear in mind, of course, that again, as you know, uh, OPEC yesterday left the, the output quota unchanged. Libya, as you know, is more or less offline. Iran is beset with uh, sanctions, again, therefore it leaves only the Saudi Arabians to really come up with a good as regards dealing with the supply concerns for the strong demand. It is a winter, fair enough, but again, but of course demand is always high for oil, and therefore only Saudi Arabia now can actually produce the goods because Iraq is significantly being hobbled. That's the concern so far. So overall, again, for example, two reports, uh, they've seized a Mosul, the biggest, second biggest city in Iraq, and in fact, looking at my notes here, halted repairs to a main pipeline from the Kirkuk Crucial crucial oil field, reports on whether 310,000 barrels a day of the Baiji refinery have been captured by militants again, that's therefore a concern. Also again, clearly overall, the impact again, 3.3 uh, million barrels a month of oil is produced by Iraq, it is the second biggest uh, producer in fact in uh, OPEC of course, so the Shias, Kurdish and Juni areas, these are the areas that are going to break into three, and if that happens, a pure civil war, then believe you me, the oil price will without doubt spike.